Nerd Morning, everyone. My name is Jeremy, and today on the Nerd Morning Show, we are talking about some of the COVID-19 uh, effects inside of the comic book industry. First, though, today is the National Superhero Day, so today I'm in sporting Batman because he is my favorite superhero. I'd love to hear what your favorite superhero is, so drop those in the comments below. I think that that'd be really fun uh, to hear kind of what everyone's thoughts are on that. I am really excited to be able to announce when the new comics are going to be coming out. Some other news that have had related to the comic industry because of the pandemic. And so we're going to just jump in on all of those type of things. First off, uh, there's been a larger push by the comic book publishers for digital issues because over the last month and moving forward into the next month, there has not been any new books that they've been able to sell in shops. So they have pushed those different titles. And I think that those are an opportunity and avenue to get some fun books, uh, maybe something to consider. Uh, DC Digital First Titles is one of the lines that DC Comics has used um, to distribute some of those that are like almost like exclusive to digital distribution. So that's one of the ways that they've pushed for some of that digital distribution. Uh, DC Comics has also partnered with two new distributors um, because of the Diamond shutdown. And we're gonna see how that goes. Um, Diamond is also going to be distributing DC titles from my understanding. And those will be coming in here pretty soon uh, so that's exciting. Uh, Marvel will be scaling down their amount of titles. Uh, between 15 to 20% of their titles. Now, Marvel has often, I think, a lot of different titles. And so I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of the meat and potatoes, really good titles. And some of the extras that we've seen, those ones are just being cut out. Um, and... I'm interested to see what's going to stay and what's going to go. I don't have all those details. That's just kind of the numbers that I have seen that people have discussed. Uh, DC Comics has also been talking about how they're canceling some of their moves that they're considering. Gen 5, which has had some uh, criticisms before this, is now being pushed off. It's not happening. And the DC Black Label titles that people have been enjoying and going through may be being either canceled or going more towards straight to graphic novel form where they're able to partner those with other distributors um, that put those in maybe regular bookstores instead of comic shops. Um, but those should also uh, be available at your comic book shops as well. That's another move that they've done to uh, deal with some of the shutdowns and compressions that they've had to do because of the industry. Now the industry has definitely affect the publishers, writers, distributors, all those types of things. But it really has also affected comic shops. And I think that your local shop is the lifeblood of the comic book industry. All of those shops together have made it so we're able to have the distribution, build the culture. I think they're a really an integral and important part of the comic book culture and that experience that we get as readers. So I think it's really important that we try to support our local shops. And when they are opened, or when they open up, I think that it'd be really great for you to go in and shop from there because that's gonna be a really important way to support those businesses that have definitely had some hard times because of the coronavirus. Um, so the comics have been halted. They've been halted for a while. Um, this just came out really actually like an hour before I've um, been shooting this is when I got the news um, Is that comics should be returning to regular shipments on May 20th? So that again is if the coronavirus stays kind of more towards the projected uh, Expectations and if things go crazy things go wild. We might be able to see that shift uh, farther back um, so hopefully things are good, people stay healthy, things get less dramatic with the coronavirus, and that we're able to get to regular shipments again. That'd be really, really exciting. Um, I am really eager to get no new books, and um, I'm really excited about them actually putting down a day saying we're wanting to get books sent starting in May 20th. So that's something really exciting to look forward for. 
I am really excited about the things that we're going to be seeing in the future. I think that uh, the comic book industry is having to slim down, and that's not necessarily always uh, like the happiest thing, but one of the things that it can do is that they're going to focus on what's the very best products because they're going to want to build and strengthen um, the industry, and they're going to have to really deliver in order to be able to keep them growing and to be successful. So us as readers, we're going to get some great stuff moving forward, I think, because everyone in the industry is saying, this is going to be really important. This has got to be my best. And they're cutting out some of the fluff in order to be able to make sure that they provide us with the very best books. So I think that the future of comics is going to be strong. I think we're going to be able to make it through. If you've been collecting for a while and you've been kind of worried, I think that the industry is continuing. It's going to be strong. It's going to be all right. And I'm here excited and collecting with you. So those are some of the updates that I had for you guys. Hopefully this was helpful, informational for you. Um, if you like videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe and to let me know in the comments below as well. That's super helpful. Um, that way I can make sure to give you the content that you guys want. That's gonna be really, really awesome. Again, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys next time.